Hi, I'm Jenny. Look over here and say hi. Oh. Let's do take two. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is our new place. And we are fixing it up. Yeah, we've been living in an apartment ever since we've been together, and so we're really excited about home ownership. We finally have our own yard, our own mailbox, or our Speaking own- Speaking of mailboxes, the mailbox is the first thing people are going to be looking for when they're trying to find our new place. So we decided to make it our first DIY project. And we're inviting you along. It's our first project. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Step one, location. So even though the old post was buried out there, we wanted to know what else was buried underneath the ground. I mean, what if we cut the power? Or worse, the internet. So a few days before we were ready to dig, we called Georgia 811. They were so friendly and they walked us through the entire process so we knew what to expect. Georgia 811 notifies all the utilities in our area that we want to dig. So then the utilities send out locate text with special equipment to find buried utility lines. And once those buried utility lines are found, then spray paint or special marking flags let us know which areas to completely avoid or when to use special precaution to dig around. Georgia 811 even gave me a, a phone number and an, a website where I can check to make sure that all of our utilities are accounted for and marked on the ground or marked as clear. They even gave me a list of special precautions that we can take in case we find that we must dig in an area where there's an underground utility nearby. The call was free, the location service was free, and it was super easy. It's also the safe thing to do. Georgia 811 said I could do everything online next time as well. I never really thought about what was buried under our property, so I am really glad we called. Now our old post wasn't really salvageable, so we bought a new post for our mailbox. And since we know that everything is free and clear to dig, let's get started. Step two, dig. Because we called Georgia 811, we knew that the area around our old mailbox was safe to dig. And since our mailbox is going to sit 42 inches off the ground and our post is 60 inches tall, we need to dig a hole that is 18 inches deep. All right, let's dig that hole. You did such a good job. Mm. I think I'll keep you around. Good, because I'm too tired to go anywhere else. Aww. <laughs> Step three, pour the concrete. We bought a 60 pound bag of concrete and we used almost the entire bag. Also, make sure to leave about three or four inches on top for dirt and grass. We're definitely planting flowers out there. In fact, if we finish this in time, we'll go buy them tonight. I need to invest in a much nicer pair of gloves. That's a great idea. So then just add the water and then use rebar to pack in the concrete around the column. Oh, but make sure that you use a post level so that your post is even from all directions. We had to brace the post to keep it level until the concrete dried. Step four, attach the mailbox. We bought a new mailbox to go with our new post and we just followed the specific instructions that came along with the mailbox. And it's done. Voila. Now we need to go get those new gloves. I think you mean flowers. Yeah. And a garden home. Wait, what? <laughs>